is a very pretty flower. But anyways, hey guys, what's going on? Crackle Crystal here, and we are back with episode number 10 of our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. I'm so ready. With our second gym, I am hoping we're able to actually get through this one. There has been some team changes. You can probably see it on the layout. But, I'm gonna give you a team recap anyways. If you missed the last episode, remember to check out the playlist. And, you will be able to see what everything has happened. And all our changes. So, leading the team, leading the charge into this grass type gym. Grass type I say, but it's randomized. We have Malware the Porygon Z rocking out with... Conversion to Tackle, Psybeam, and Recover. And then our newly added friend, Palette, the Licky Tongue, rocking out with Lick, Supersonic Defense Curl, and Knock Up. Not the greatest Pokemon. I'm willing to sack him off because he just doesn't have the stats and he can't really fight. Like, if you look at his stats right now, he's got an attack of 21, defense of 30, and special attack of 26. So he's a special attacker, but I'm pretty sure Lick is physical, Supersonic special, defense curl. All his moves are physical, so his highest stats are in special attack, and he doesn't have any special attacking moves, so that's fun. And ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to our dearest friend, our longest member, our strongest member, holding the soft sand, we have Teeth the Gibble, that soft sand is powering up his sand tome, but he also has take down rock, no not rock, he has sandstorm, and Dragon Rage, some he is pure power. He is going to be our our blue button. If we run out of any ideas, we'll switch. Maybe even sack off Palette. But are you guys ready? I have saved, so we're about to face Gardenia, the gym leader. You kept me waiting. I am Eternus gym leader Gardenia, the Crass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced that you'd find your way to me. My hunt was right on the money, and I. You have a winning aura about you. What's with everyone wanting money in this game? So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. So she thinks she's a grass type trainer, but since it's randomized, she's not actually grass type. I'm talking really fast. Three on three. Who is she sending out? Ooh, that is a grass type. It's a grass bug type, so I'm kind of angry. But it's not psychic. Malware's not a psychic type. I keep thinking Malware's psychic type because it has a side beam, but it's not. It shouldn't do too much damage because he's acting normal type. There's a the protect I knew was going to show up. Uh, Burmy has been a problem for me whenever I do an extra wine nuzlocke on my own, just off on my own time, I decide to do an extra wine nuzlocke. And that root right after the forest, I'll always get a Burmy. First thing Andrew will never stop being a Burmy. A Laron. That is a steel type. I, I, I didn't think Steel type was strong against Dragon, excuse me. Uh, let's see. i look up Gabite. I'm gonna see if I can find his weaknesses. Uh, effectiveness. Super weak to- he's super weak to the thing. He's normally damaged normally by Steel. Okay. So what resists- uh, what resists him? Nothing- okay. I'll do normal damage to it. So I'm gonna switch. Cause I believe Leon can do a lot of damage, so we're gonna switch it. Um, let's see. If I get Leon, what type, what type of is Leon? Uh, he is weak to, super resistant to. He is weak to fighting in ground, so why not give him a run for his money? I feel like setting up Sandstorm just so I can dodge a bit better, but Sandstorm him right off the bat. Oh yes, that damage is great. And he's using no bomb. Let's hope I survive it. That did an okay amount of damage. I think I have one potion again. What is with me going to gyms with one potion? That's not the greatest idea, Aiden. Can't get a habit of that. I'll make a sandstorm out so I can uh, protect myself a bit better. And there we go. Already, he's paying off. I gotta say, Teeth has had some clutch plays. He has actually dodged. I didn't think Laron could get hurt by Sandstorm. I thought it was that Steel-types and Ground-types didn't get affected by, uh, 
Diffuse Dragon Rage. See how much damage it does. I mean, I'm a bit over level. I'm two levels higher. I don't think it's super over level. I think this sand should kill him. See, so he has a sand tail on, on him, and he has a sand storm, so he should die. There we go. Laron is down. We have one more left. This gym is a little easier from the fact that our teeth is all kinds of powerful right now. You know, there's a Thunder Punch team. I'm thinking of teaching it the palette and seeing if I can get him higher level. Maybe then I can use Thunder Punch. But I'm saving it right now because unless the palette proves himself, I'm going to be switching him the next chance I get. It's not the end yet! I'm gonna win with this floppy armed water type that I'm totally not a grass type specialist though. I don't know why I said that, but... Uh... Oh, the, the, I gotta say, Fotal is bulky. Fotal is very bulky. Sandstorm still! That's the problem! Yikes! The reason I switched out was because I didn't want Teeth to die. I'm gonna just recover now. Because <laughs> she can't do this. She has to use her potions. There's a water gun again. Not too worried. It shouldn't do too much damage. I'm focused right now. I mean, I'm destroying this gym this time. This gym I'm not too scared about now. You know, last episode, I was saying I was a bit worried. And then when I... when T Since Teeth evolved, Teeth has made everything so much easier right now. He's so much power. Having a Dragon-type this early in the game is actually really good. It's helping us get all this damage down. And Malware's level 23. Magnet Rise, that is not a great move. It pretty much is, uh, lets you, it's like giving yourself levitate for five turns. Amazing, you're very good, aren't you? I might have said it before, but you're really tough. It wasn't hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good. I guess it's a measure of how you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Crygo received the Boris badge from Virginia. I did not mean to read that. Oh well. With the Forest badge, your Pokemon can use the hidden move cut outside of battle. Now that you have the gym badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. I will also give you something. It's a gift for me. Team Music. Is it another punch? Because I got Thunder Punch and then I got Dizzy Punch. Contains the move conversion. It's one of my favorite moves. It's heavy the foe. With the the more damage it will cause. Uh, I think it's broken. Because I, I, I think it's supposed to be Grass Knot. I'm gonna look at its conversion. If it's conversion, I'm gonna laugh. That threw me off a little bit. It is conversion. So they did do that, but they, she explained it as Grass Knot. I don't really- I'm gonna sell that, because I don't really want conversion. Being that I already have a Porygon, I think Porygon's like the only Pokemon that can learn it. Anyways. And... I don't need to make all the moves stab. So, what we're going to do is we're going to teach someone Cut now. Let's see if we can get a Cut Pokemon. I don't really want to teach it to Teeth. Palette, hey buddy, I might use you as an HM slave. Just going to say that now. You don't need Super Sonic. It's all good. There we go, Palette, learn to Cut. Can you learn Thunder Punch? I probably can learn Thunder Punch. It's actually a TM for a turn though. Oh, he's not able to. I could have given my cat bite thunder. Uh, Dizzy Punch can be learned by both. Or Dynamic Punch, sorry, it's not Dizzy Punch, it's Dynamic Punch. So I keep running. We're gonna try to get... Mm, I'm actually running... I have to get going in three minutes. So I have to, I'm pretty much just gonna end here, actually. Can we heal our Pokemon? And we have a squad. We have a squad. We still have really only malware and running it but I will do a little bit I think I might do a little bit more recording if I have time tonight to do maybe a little the team galactic base if not I'll do that on Monday night or Monday when I get back for a little bit so I'm gonna talk about this finish this and we're gonna stand here and say a few words so thank you guys so much for watching this is my first week of coming back to YouTube and I've actually done, I'm very happy with how consistent I've been. I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos. And 
I want to say thank you for everything. I've been bulk recording. I bulk recorded the last four episodes, so 8, 9, 10. No. 8, 9, 10. Is that it? No. Maybe it was 7, 8, 9, 10. I think. I don't know. I know, but uh, past, I think it was four episodes, have been all just bulk recorded before I had to go on a trip, which is really hard because I don't want to follow the. I don't want to lose the habit I'm in now of waking up, eating breakfast, doing a few chores at home, cleaning up, getting in here, recording, making my thumbnail, um, when it, while it's uploading, making a thumbnail, watching some videos, playing games while it uploads, come back up, want to check the uploading feed. If it's done, I'll upload my thumbnail, done, and then record another video or take out, eat lunch, record another video if I feel like it. But I've gotten a great habit of recording at least one video a day, at least one, and most of the days I have been posting two because I've been having so much fun recording these videos for you guys. So please show your support. If you do enjoy this series, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button because that's the easiest way for us to know, for me to know how much you're enjoying this series. And subscribe if you want to continue watching my stuff, if you want to support me so I know how many people are enjoying this. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And have a great weekend, guys.